I never want to hear another joke again about the level of play in Celebrity Jeopardy. Look at these scores. You are seeing real Jeopardy played here tonight. Here are your Triple Jeopardy categories, finalists. First up, I just can. Yeah. Then we have Oops. Alt. So good for Star the World for Wordle. Responses here, as you might imagine, will be five letters long. Oops. Box office. Oops. Science is cool. Uh oh. Blank and blank. We have a pair of words and. Uh oh. <laughs> favorite song. <laughs> Lisa Ann, you be a. Champ, right. star. Let's do box office sleepers for 900, please. Yes, there. Yes, there. Yes, there. Yes, there. Lisa Ann, this is a chance for you. How much do you want to wager on box office sleepers? Let's do 1500, please. All right. Here's the clue if you get it right. Clue in box office sleepers. Here's the clue. My Big Fat Greek Wedding introduced the idea that this household cleaner could cure anything from psoriasis to poison ivy. Should have bet more. What is Windex? That is correct. That is right. I don't actually know if Windex will do that, but that is the correct response. Let me select. Box office sleepers for 1200 please. Director Bobby Farrelly revealed that his sister's friend once zipped up his Frank and Beans, inspiring a scene in this film. Katie. What is there something about Mary? That's the film. That's the word. Uh, let's go with blank and blank for 900. These words, meaning junk, refer to floating debris from a ship. Some thrown overboard on purpose, some there by accident. Oh, what is flotsam and jetsam? Correct. Okay. Um, I'm just Ken for 900. To make his 2021 film Belfast, this Ken drew from his early memories of growing up in Northern Ireland during the Troubles. No, who is Kenneth Branagh? Right. Um, I'm just Ken for 1,200. Nicknamed The Kid, this slugger hit a dinger in 44 different ballparks over his 22-year major league career. Katie. Who is Ken Griffey Jr.? Right. Um, let's go with blank and blank for 1,200. Use the blue. Answer there. Answer there. Answer there. Now it's a chance for you, Katie, and you'll be wagering from the lead. How much will it be? I'm going to wager 3,000. Oh, 3,000, here's your clue. Here's your clue if you get it right. Blank. Used together, these words are synonymous with intrigue and secrecy, and they sound much cooler than poncho and knife. knife. What is cloak and dagger? You got it. <laughs> you are you <laughs> No one here was able to play, though. Where to now, Katie? Sometimes when you see those, you're like, I don't think I know. You panic for a second, but thank God about it. Um, let's go to uh, blank and blank, because it's serving me well. 600, please, Ken. They're names for Here's pointy implements used in sewing, and for a feeling like you're getting pricked by them. Katie. Katie. What are pins and needles? Yeah. yeah. Blank and blank for 1,500. The clue? They're F words, but not the bad kind. They refer to a region's native plant and animal life. Katie. Katie. What are flora and fauna? Yes. Uh, finish up. Blank and blank for 300. The clue? This pair of words refers to rules and the enforcement of those rules. In an organized sense, done, done. We say, what is law and order? Right. Uh, let's do box office sleepers for 1500, please. The clue? So she wouldn't hear Alan Arkin's <laughs> profane tirades. Nine year old Abigail Breslin wore headphones in several scenes in this 2006 hit. Katie. What is Little Miss Sunshine? Well done, 1500. Well done. Um, box office sleepers for 600. Fans of this indie darling still visit Preston, Idaho to tour the film's locations, including Rex Quando and Pedro. Answer. What is Napoleon Dynamite? Yes. Um, also a good starter word for Wordle for 900, please, Ken. Hey, maniacs, should I boil my lobster or do this to it in a basket, which I've heard gets the meat more tender? Katie. What is poach? Sorry, no. Ah, Sorry, no. What is steam? Steam. That's, that's the word. word. Uh, uh, also, good starter word for Wordle for 1200, please, Ken. Emily Dickinson, Pablo Neruda, and T.S. Eliot, to name a few. Lisa Ann. Yeah. What are poets? Yes. Also, good starter word for Wordle for 1500, please. The clue? It's the edible lining of an animal's stomach, or slang for a worthless piece of writing. Lisa Ann. What is trite? Well done, yes. Also, a good starter word for Wordle for 600, please. Here is the clue. The metaphorical divide between political parties. Savvy lawmakers learn to reach across it. Katie. What is the aisle? That's it. Also, a good starter word for Wordle for 300. 
Dim the lights before asking this talking Let's board the questions at a sleepover. Hasbro says it's just a game, or is it? Katie, what is Ouija? That's the word. That's the word. Uh, let's do science is cool for 900. NASA says the average temperature on this eighth planet from the sun is a brisk Neptune. 330 degrees Fahrenheit. Mo, what is it, Neptune? Correct. Um, science is cool for 1200. Equal to minus 459 degrees degrees Fahrenheit, the lowest possible temperature that matter can reach is known by this two-word term. Equal to minus... Maybe. What is absolute zero? You got it. Uh, science is cool for 1500. The clue? Unlike most solids, dry ice doesn't melt into a liquid, but turns directly into a gas. A process known as this. The matter. The contestant. Stare. Anybody? I don't want to guess. Oh, oh no! Solid to gas is called sublimation. <laughs> Katie says she knew it, but you know, easy to say. Now. Okay. Yeah, good point. good point. I think that's a hard one, but well done if you knew it. Back to you. Back to you. Um, let's do science is cool for 600. The recipe for this type of winter storm, snow, winds over 35 miles per hour, and low visibility for at least three hours. Lisa Ann. What is a blizzard? That blizzard. is a blizzard. That's the word. Uh, let's do Ozzy Osbourne's favorite songs for 1200, please. Ozzy is a big fan of the animal's cover of Don't Let Me Be Misunderstood, originally recorded by this high priestess of soul. Mo. Who is it? Aretha Franklin? Sorry, Aretha, incorrect. Sorry incorrect. Is Anna Katie? Anybody? Oh, no! Nina Simone. Oh, oh. Back to you, Sam. Uh, Ozzy Osbourne's favorite songs for 900, please, Ken. Ozzy said his world stood still the first time he heard this Led Zeppelin tune that lends its title to a film by Richard Linklater. Lisa Anyone? Ann leans forward and squints. What is dazed and confused? Right, 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 right. Lisa, back to you. Uh, Ozzy Osbourne's favorite songs for 600, please. This Pink Floyd classic reminds Ozzy of his LSD days. Maybe it's that trippy cash register sound effect. Katie. What is money? It's a gas, yes. Uh, Ozzy Osbourne's favorite songs for 1500. Called the Cowbell Jam to End All Cowbell Jams, this song by Mountain is not about a riverboat. You know what I mean. Lisa Ann. What is Mississippi Queen? You know Mississippi you know Queen! I'm just Ken for 1500, please. Here's the clue. Working the night shift 